Now, climate change can act as a threat multiplier, essentially driving conflict by deepening existing fault lines. What we see is it creates instability. Now, that's something former U.S. Secretary of Defense Jim Mattis acknowledged two years ago, telling the Senate that climate change is impacting stability in areas where U.S. troops are already operating. So let's look at how that may work. First of all, with rising temperatures, they can cause deteriorating uh, agricultural conditions, which interferes with the food supply. That can lead to greater migration and therefore the likelihood of greater instability in destination countries. In fact, a 2017 report that as temperatures in the southern hemisphere rise, we'll see a greater asylum applications in Europe with almost a 100% probability. Now, rising sea levels, that's another uh, climate change impact on security too. And we're already seeing this uh, in the Arctic as the sea ice melts, creating a new flashpoint there. That's making the North Pole more navigable and therefore more accessible, setting up a fight over the region's resources. Now, the US, Canada, Denmark, and of course, Russia all lay claim to the region, but so do does China. It's described itself as a near Arctic state.